What's up LEGO fans? This is Tom from True North Bricks and today I have a, a special video for you. So I made an order recently on uh, Amazon um, because I was inspired by another LEGO set that I built. So uh, if you've been following me on truenorthbricks.com and on YouTube, you saw that recently I acquired and built the NASA Space Shuttle Discovery set. Well, I was quite excited by it. Uh, and it put me on a little bit of a space kick. Um, so I went on Amazon and I ordered myself another space themed set. So today we are going to go through the unboxing of this set as well as uh, a build video. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit about the set and some of the inspiration for it. So opening this up, what we're going to be looking at uh, today is uh, a Lego Ideas set. It's an older set, so you've probably all seen it before, but again, I was inspired to buy it by my recent uh, acquisition of the Space Shuttle Discovery. So, what I'm looking at now is the Lego Ideas NASA Apollo uh, Saturn V rocket. So without further ado, we're going to get into the uh, actual opening of this box and the building of the set. I hope you enjoy. We're back after three hours and 44 minutes of build time spread out over a couple of days. So this is the completely assembled LEGO Ideas Saturn V rocket. So this is set 92176, which is the reissue of the original LEGO Idea set that came out in 2017. So this one is the 2020 version, which is for all intents and purposes identical. Uh, it just has some different packaging and a different set number. So in total it has 1,969 bricks, which is actually 1969. So for those of you who are uh, keen on space history, you know that that's kind of a significant date. Um, and it actually comes at a really good cost per brick, which is about seven, just under 8 cents, so 7.6 7 cents per brick, which is excellent for a set of this size. Um, and it actually gives you a decent amount of build time too. Now, I really enjoyed this. If you're looking for a set that will help you develop uh, your round building techniques, then the Saturn V rocket is a great set for that. Uh, it's very structurally sound, and I really like that it's also historically accurate uh, and mechanically accurate in terms of how everything worked and how the different stages of the rocket actually functioned. So if we remove this from the stand for just a minute, I'll show you how 
uh, everything comes together or comes apart rather. So you have the full rocket and just like in real life there were multiple stages to the rocket that actually detached as the Saturn V rose higher and higher into the atmosphere towards space. So the first part um, was the first stage of the rocket, so that's this. This was in real life filled with a very uh, highly refined form of kerosene uh, as well as an oxygen oxidizer uh, that gave it basically the lift it needed in order to take off. And that took it to maybe about, I guess it was just under 70 kilometers, I think, uh, into the atmosphere. So this detached, fell off. Then you had the second stage of the rocket which contained um, hydrogen fuel along with oxygen again as the oxidizer and that took it up into uh, low earth orbit so that would then again fall off uh, and crash into the ocean somewhere and then you're left with this section here so the third stage which is also a fuel tank mostly this part here is uh, just fuel again it's um, hydrogen and oxygen um, and when it got to this stage in space this here, which uh, served as kind of an escape mechanism during liftoff, would actually come off. Um, and underneath it, you would have the command module, uh, because the, the safety feature kind of becomes irrelevant at some point during the space flight and stops actually being able to help the astronauts, so they get rid of it. Um, and at this point, the rocket had to undergo kind of a maneuver in order to uh, continue its mission to the moon. So there's this cone at the top that would open up and inside you can actually see the lunar lander. So in real life, the service module and the command module, which is this part of the Apollo mission, would actually have to take off, turn around, dock with the lunar lander, detach it from the fuel tank, and then this part here continued on to the moon. Once at the moon, and there's a nice little display stand for that in this case as well, uh, the lunar lander would come off, the service and command modules would stay in space, orbiting the moon with one astronaut on board. The lunar lander went down to the surface with two astronauts. They were able to look around, plant the American flag, um, and then of course once their mission was over, half of the lunar lander, so the upper half, took off again, rose into space leaving the base behind. It again docked with the command and service module so that the astronauts could get on board and then this part here is what returned to Earth. The command module detached once it got to Earth and there's another display stand in this set for this part and it would parachute down to Earth um, and crash land in the ocean where it had a nice floating ring with it so that it obviously wouldn't sink and the rescue crews, rescue crews could come and save the astronauts. So this was a really enjoyable build experience. There's tons of uh, functionality, tons of history here. It can display all in one piece on uh, these nice little stands that you also build with the kit. Uh, so you can put it on a shelf if you have a nice long shelf. The whole thing is a meter long when it's fully assembled, so you do need quite a bit of space for it. But I enjoyed it. I really uh, am fascinated by space travel. I'm really looking forward to whatever LEGO produces. Uh, for the upcoming uh, Artemis missions that are uh, sending astronauts back to the moon. I'm definitely going to keep this one built, definitely going to keep it on display. Uh, I can't recommend it enough. It comes at a great value, it's a fun build, it teaches you a lot, and it has great display potential. And you just really get an appreciation for the scale of this rocket. I mean, just the tiny little micro figure astronauts next to it, you know, that, that just gives you an idea of how massive this rocket actually was, right? It was huge. People just paled in comparison to the size of this thing. So, like I said, amazing, amazing set. Can't recommend it enough. Definitely, if you're on the fence about this, pick it up. It's a wonderful build. 
So uh, feel free to let me know how you what you think about it uh, in the comments below, or you can reach out on social media. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you next time.